astral attack, humans are connected, there is a divine connection between all created things, this connection exists, whether you recognize it or not, it is like having a thyroid, you have it, it exists, and it can be invaded by bacteria, whether you admit it or not, if you have ever felt someone was thinking of you right before they called, or had a hunch that something would happen, and it did, you have experienced this connection in a detectable way, the connection is always there, whether you pay attention to it, or not, if you have ever had a dream at night that proved prophetic, then you are someone whose connection was working to tell you about a future event, corrupt humans actually twist this connection into attack, if you are encountering a protracted astral connection, especially if it is constant, suspect that you are a victim of actual living people practicing the occult arts, black occultism in its many forms is more commonplace than you might think, you could very well be a victim, especially if you are intelligent, educated, or in any way otherwise exhibiting an enviable quality, these people are easily incited by jealousy, and you could be their target, if you are subject to inexplicable negative emotions, frequent setbacks, and thoughts and impulses foreign to you, suspect you are the target of black occultists attacking you, like bullies, they often run in groups, we've all run into the kind of people in daily life who are openly or subtly manipulative, but know that they do not always limit themselves to sneaky tricks that can be observed, they also operate on the astral level with astral attack, these kinds of attacks are demonic, it is not coming from unidentified, disembodied spirits, no, it is coming from living people, like all other attacks, they might want you to think it's something mystical or otherworldly, but it's coming from black occultists, living in the real world, you may know the person or persons responsible, if only slightly, in fact, frequently black occultists know their victims, sometimes a black occultist will be arrogant enough to announce his or her identity, you should investigate any such claims and test them, black occultists like to hide, but they are also conceited, you might be able to identify the person or persons responsible and act against them specifically, do not limit yourself in your defense, act without and within, these people use rumors, lies, and various forms of destruction to target their victims, realize the attack is coming from outside as well as inside, go after them with every method available, if you can identify who they are in real life, then you may be able to find practical methods to make them reap what they have sown, you should, however, regardless, practice positive thinking methods and affirmations on a constant basis, affirm that you are a child of God, protected by the Almighty, say, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust, surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence, He shall cover me with His feathers, and under His wings I shall trust, His truth shall be my shield and buckler, I will not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday, or thousands shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me, only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, say, a thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me, for I am covered by the wings of the Almighty, know that you are an overcomer and achiever, you do not have to succumb to hidden attacks, whatever their nature, fight back from within, and, if you have something logical that you can do in the outside world, make sure you follow through, follow through on any promptings that seem reasonable and in your best interest, after spending time repeating positive affirmations about your value in the eyes of God, say, a thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me, for I am covered by the wings of the Almighty, if you suspect you are the victim of an astral attack, learn how to protect yourself, learn Psalm 91, study the Bible, learn scriptures that promise God's protection to those who walk in holy ways, repeat them daily, use them as your daily thoughts and constant responses to everything, replace what you have been thinking with the promises of God and focus on those, say, my God is well able, he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all I ask or think, I will rise above, while my enemies sink, if you focus on what is of good report, positive, uplifting, and encouraging, you can use your mind toward life and healing, you can move onward and upward toward a better future, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things, say, I walk in the blessing of God, I am blessed, protected, and promoted, no one can curse what God has blessed, 
all who curse me will be cursed. In the name of Adonai, demons, you are cast off by the Most High. I thank you Lord, that you have heard me, your salvation, I will see. In the name of Adonai, demons, it is goodbye, you cannot prevail against the Holy One of Israel. In the name of El, Elohim, Adonai, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, I adjure you, demons, into the abyss, into the abyss. From the courts on high, you have been dismissed, into the abyss. I thank you Lord, that you have heard me, thank you, Father, 